I coined the phrase flying monkeys in the early 1990s to describe people who are under the spell of the narcissist. The narcissist uses these extensions of himself in order to interact with victims, current and former victims, and in order to manipulate uh, people into highly specif specified and specific behaviors which are conducive to the narcissist's shared fantasy. I found it eerie and terrifying that a group of flying monkeys <laughs> could take over a civilization, in effect. The narcissist uses flying monkeys to take over. It's a hostile takeover mechanism. And he converts people around him in order to do his bidding. And when I say he and his, it could be she and her. Half of all narcissists are women. It's to understand the purpose of the smear campaign. The purpose is for narcissists to get the attention of anybody who will listen. You can't stop narcissists from talking to anyone, right? They're, nobody is off limits. They will talk to your family members. They will smear you to your friends. They will smear you to your coworkers, right? And this is what's hard. This is what causes a lot of suffering and a lot of pain. And a lot of times you want to shake your brother and sister and your mama and say, why are you listening to the narcissist? Talk about me. But I want you to help. I want to help you understand something here. Again, narcissists will talk to anybody. But another way to look at this is what's really happening is the narcissist is actually helping to expose people who aren't good for you. A lot of times people say, Kevin, the narcissist and my mom are talking and my mom's saying weird comments and listening to the narcissist, my brother, my sister, and they're all on the side of the narcissist. And my question back to you would be, was your mom ever on your side? Were your brothers and sisters ever really for you? Or are they living this life just waiting for opportunities to dig in at you? And what the narcissist has done is seize that opportunity. Aha! This person's mom doesn't even really like them. They've exposed that and kind of put it right back in your face again. So it's not that the narcissist really changed their minds or anything like that. It's just that the narcissist played into who they are, which means you need to stand back and go, huh. Smear campaign is the persistent, structured spreading of misinformation, lies, exaggerations, and half-truths about a specific person. In this case, the narcissist erstwhile intimate partner or former friend or colleague, etc., etc. Now, the only correct response to a smear campaign is no response. I repeat this, the only correct response to a smear campaign is no response. There is no other type of response to a smear campaign that is a winning strategy. It all leads to further escalation or to an exacerbation of the situation. It never ends well for the victim, especially. There is damage to reputation in a smear campaign, but this damage to reputation is zero or non-existent among true friends. True friends are not going to listen to the messaging of the smear campaign. They're not going to believe any of the lies and half-truths. They're going to dismiss, they're going to discard attempts to turn the mind and opinion of you um, counterfactually. So your true friends are not going to be affected by the smear campaign. Your reputation is safe and intact with true friends. The same goes for workplaces, which are essentially just and workplaces that are organized as communities. In such workplaces, the damage to reput your reputation is likely to be minimal. And at the very least, there would be procedures to allow you to demonstrate your innocence and your honesty. So you don't need to worry about the impacts and aftershocks and after effects of the smear campaign among your true friends and in a workplace that is anyhow benevolent, commu communal, and pro-social. You do need to worry um, 
about fake friends and about workplaces that are organized around bullying and power plays and mind games. <laughs> but this is exactly the utility of a smear campaign. It is a useful filter. It is a membrane. In the wake of a smear campaign, you will see the true face of people around you. You will have discovered who is your true loyal uh, friend and who is just pretending to be a friend. You will find out whether you, the workplace you've dedicated your time and effort and resources to stands behind you, has your back, or whether they are actually just waiting for your downfall in order to gloat 